Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a Tarot, an oracle card reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start off with a Sacred Destiny oracle card and then we'll get into the tarot. You have the card of transformation, okay, this beautiful butterfly, your life, some situation or area of your life is on the the verge of transformation, as I always say, it's not too far from here to there. Okay, just keep going. Um, with this too, though, the butterfly always makes me think of the symbol of recovery. So if there's something that you're looking to, you know, do in terms of your own recovery, you also have that community recovery. All right, let's see. General reading today, followed up by an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. All right, you have the Seven of Wands, Justice, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers. Well, I feel like with this and the Eight of Swords, if you had uh, an ending that you did not seem, see coming, or if it was bittersweet, that's what it feels like, an ending that may have been rather sad if you lost a job or left a relationship, I feel like you're on the right track, okay? Especially, too, I like, the. of course, everybody loves the lovers, but I like it with the Knight of Pentacles and Justice because this is very trustworthy energy. You have Gemini, Libra, Air, Earth, and Fire showing up here. But I feel like with this, all will be well, is what they say. So whatever ends, it's like, you know, in the tarot, it's always a new beginning. And especially, too, if you haven't had much success, like you haven't had many bites, or if it's a job or a love interest, you just haven't really felt even like doing too much. I feel like you're going to come out of a period of being blue. That's what I heard, like blue as in sad. Um, and I also feel like, too, though, if there's a situation with the Seven of Wands, if you're dealing with some kind of an event where somebody didn't follow through, like a customer service issue, I feel like with that Seven of Wands, they say don't give up. Don't quit five minutes before that miracle happens. Keep persevering. The Seven of Wands is an energy of moving forward, conquering, dominating. There are setbacks, yes, but you you don't you don't crumple, okay? And especially too, if you feel like you're really having to push yourself, if you have been in kind of a blase type of energy field, I feel like the seven of wands may inspire you, it may recharge you. You may have an event here that gets you inspired, gets you that second wind. And so if it has been a job loss and you say, I've been doing the bare minimum, just what I can handle emotionally and mentally to get a new job. I feel like you're going to have all of a sudden an increase in energy. You might also, too, I get with this, have an increase in job interviews, okay? Or if you're just sort of holding steady at your current job, but you know you've emotionally left the building, you've mentally and emotionally left the job. I heard Office Space, you know that movie? That's a hilarious movie. I know people that don't realize uh, the phrase, did you get the memo, is from Office Space. I thought everybody knew that. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But with this Seven of Wands energy, I feel like you'll be inspired to take action. And these little wands are nothing, okay? They're nothing compared to his big wine, wand. It's really little setbacks, but this is about perseverance. It's about moving forward. And if you've been trying to start a business on your own and you've had some setbacks, I do feel like they're saying there's still something there. There's something there that's worth pursuing. So... Justice, we love the card of justice, especially when we're having trouble, because this tells you everything's going to work out. I mean, that's really what it is about. Justice will be served. Now, if you were blindsided by an event, if you had an ending to a job or another situation, knowing that the universe handles all that, you don't even have to do anything. But you know, the best revenge is just being happy being happy, joyous, free, letting go of that other energy, not trying to do anything in retaliation. All that does is boomerang anyway. We don't want that kind of boomeranging energy. So this is a realization that there are consequences for actions. And so definitely I feel like if you're the one 
where you've been headstrong, you've been, you know, just trying to move forward. And it seems like you've had some unreasonable setbacks. I feel like things are going to, the tables are going to turn here. And so with this, you may also get an apology, but I feel like you have somebody who has their tail between their legs, okay, that they come forward trying to minimize, they're trying to mitigate damage. I heard damage control. And so I feel like they're going to see that, hey, whoa, this, your perseverance has paid off. You know what else too, what I've gotten the, the job done in my own personal life, a couple of times when I've had problems with corporations, I've found the names of high up CEOs and started mailing letters. I had one that I had um, mailed through certified mail. Guess who gave me a phone call the next day? This guy's assistant. I'm telling you, that can work. Um, so if, it, if it's something like that, I feel like you're going to look at this and say, look, what goes around comes around. Things happen for a reason. And I feel like you're going to walk free because this is all about in acting with integrity and treating people how you want to be treated. So with this five of pentacles energy, I feel like you may have had a separation that was difficult. But I, I'm telling you what, if it was next to you're going to see what their life looks like. And you're going to say, I'm glad I'm not anywhere near it where the things start to happen, the job losses, the issues with housing, the issues in, in their health even too, which we would never wish that on anyone. We all have free will, but you know, when somebody lies, they lie and they know it has consequences for you. Their body knows they did that. That makes an imprint on their entire life map. And so it's like, let me just get away from you now because I know something's going to happen and I don't really want to be really close to it. So I feel like with this, it's all about moving forward. Now, if you're in a relationship, you know, notice that there's two here. And so if you're in a relationship and it's been a difficult period with a job or with housing, I feel like the two of you are going to weather the storm and move forward. All right. There's like with this too, they're not looking to turn back. I mean, yeah, they're going to move a little slower, but it is about moving forward and just continuing to continue. The Page of Swords will have you staying a bit vigilant, at least for a while. This is one of those messengers, but with this one, be careful because he's he can be quite tactless. Don't let somebody get the better of your temper. You know, I hear other astrologers and things. I'm not an astrologer, but I've heard astrologers, and I even heard it on The Real Housewives. Somebody said their mom had that Aries temper. I don't know about you. I don't like to lose control of my temper in that way. But I feel like too with this, you may be somebody who's quick-witted and that you have quick comebacks and it can be easy to eviscerate somebody with that quick wit and comeback. And they may mistake it for a temper. I guess I'd just say I'd, I'd be careful with that. If you feel like, you know what, I don't really want to have to stoop to their level. I feel like you're going to be better off. Now I mentioned too, if it is a customer service issue, I always try to keep my letters very very professional. I get to the point. I don't try to, you know, give some kind of an editorial and it seems to work. So I guess I'd be careful too with that. We don't ever want to get into a position where we have to apologize or explain something away. And he does tend to do that. He makes us a little impulsive. But the other thing that the Page of Swords will do is also have you doing thorough research. So you may find too, if you've had a, been at a little bit of a standstill, and you find that you've gone gone down the rabbit hole with internet searching and that sort of thing, I feel like it's time to take some action. It's really time to move forward. And with that five of, of cups, another change card, it does show some sadness, some betrayal, and something I feel like you didn't deserve is how I get it. Like you didn't do something that uh, was in response to something you did. I just feel like it was out of what seems like nowhere. And so like there was a more reasonable way to handle things than they were handled. But I feel like, again, you've got that card of transformation. You've got a shift coming in. And so sometimes we need this because otherwise we won't leave a situation. We'll keep staying in it. That Knight of Pentacles, though, helps you move forward. Talk about the knight in shining armor. Good news financially. So if it's been a financial issue, I feel like you're going to get what you need in order to move forward. So you won't stay there. You won't be living in despair or even living in a place where you're having to protect your own interests. This is that email that says, look, your loan was approved or the offer for the job, even the phone call. Whatever shift you make, though, this is long-term happiness. So know that you're going to move forward in a way that I just don't see you turning back. And the lovers represents choices. It also is important, choices from the heart. So let's talk about relationships. 
If you ended a relationship and it's been tumultuous, I feel like you have to let go and step completely away from it. That's what the cards are saying. The more you stay connected to it, you, you will stay here. Okay, you can't be in here and here at the same place. These two are not compatible roommates. So with the lover's energy, it really is about finding harmony. And so in a relationship, I feel like you have somebody who is very tried and true. There's somebody who is up front. They don't have anything to hide. Go Google, Google them. It won't show anything. You know, it's really being able to trust them by their word at face value. You don't have to look any deeper. Now, I do feel like there's depth here, though. When you talk about the lovers, it's the kind of relationship that will change your life. You'll be saying, what was my ex's name? I don't even know. In terms of a job, though, too, it is about flourishing. So if you've been in a place where it's been difficult even to, to get out of bed or put one foot in front of the other, I feel like you're going to be getting the energy to come out of it. Now, with this Eight of Swords, I mentioned this, we have to be careful of this one. It's too much thinking. The great addiction to thinking. So meditate, quiet the mind, acknowledge it when you see it. If you say, oh, I was just lost in thought and that sea of thought wasn't exactly positive. Acknowledge it and control it, okay? when If you get yourself or find yourself drifting off, because there's lots of spiritual teachers that talk about that, what our thinking will do. So just be aware of it. All right, and then we're going to hear from the angels here. Listen to your intuition, so quiet things down so you can hear it. You've got the scales of balance here, too, coming into balance, especially if you felt you have the card of compromise. But if you if you felt like you've been disempowered, I feel like you're going to be empowered. Let go, as we said, let go to receive. You've got not the right time. So, again, there might not be time to take any big drastic actions or have any perhaps uh, direct conversations. It's all about moving forward because they say don't stop. Okay, so if there's some unfinished emotional business, it may be about moving into the new. Good things are on the way though for you, Aries. I love you and I'll be back again soon.